Hello Blender and Eevee fans, in this tutorial I will show you how to export textures from Substance Painter to use it in Blender Eevee. Here you can see a simple hard surface model I created with Blender 2.79. As environment texture I added an HDRI from HDRI Haven and then just save the project. In a previous tutorial I already showed how to import and texturize this model with Substance Painter 2017, here is the project. But now let's open the export textures dialog and I'll show you the settings for exporting the textures for Blender EV. I created a new export configuration and called this Blender. In this configuration I defined four output maps. A simple RGB map for the diffuse, a normal map but not DirectX, use OpenGL for Blender, a grayscale map for the roughness, and another grayscale map for the metallic. With these settings you can export your textures and use it in Blender EV. This is the export folder I'm going to export the textures into, then I press export and when I open the folder you can see the textures. Great, now I open my Blender project with Blender 2.8, the latest development version. And here's my model and when I switch to the materials tab, you can see my cycles material that are already defined. Then I open a new window and switch to the node editor. And then I delete the diffuse shader and switch from Cycles Render to EV Render. Alright, then I do the same as in the previous tutorial. I add the principal shader that you can use now for EV and Cycles as well. And then I drag in all the textures I exported with Substance Painter and connect the generated image texture nodes with the shader. So drag in the diffuse texture and connect it to the base color. Then the normal map. And don't forget to add a normal map node. After that, I add the metallic. And then the roughness. And yeah, that's it. Now you can, if you like, play around with the lights, move them and test the effects for the real-time rendering, or enable post-processing effects like ambient occlusion or bloom. Really cool stuff that you can do here, but you know what? I will create a simple animation and render this. I'm going to add an empty object and make it the parent of the cylinder model and then I create keyframes. For the first frame and for the last plus one frame I also add a keyframe and set the set rotation to 360. Ok, now I changed the rotation of the model and when I play the animation, it looks like this. The only thing that I have to adjust is the interpolation. So I open the graph editor, press the T key and set the interpolation to linear. And we're done with this kind of turntable animation. Then I render this as AVI and here's the rendered movie. Alright guys, I really hope you find this tutorial useful and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when my next tutorial is online. And think about supporting me on my Patreon, this would really help to keep my channel up and running. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.